guys, Mike again. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for clicking this video. I hope you're having a great day. This video is another Land Cruiser tech video. And what I'm gonna do in this video is we're going to install new body mount bushings and a one inch spacer lift to lift the body up a little bit more. So several years ago, I did a frame replacement here and I realized at that time that the body mount bushings were toast and I needed some new ones. I was too far into the project and ended up just putting the older ones back in again. So here we are. Um, we're going to lift up the body. I'm gonna put some new poly mount bushings in. And at that time, I'm also gonna put a one inch spacer lift as well. So before you guys get upset and leave a comment about body spacing lifts, I already have Old Man Emu Heavy Heavies in here and it's about a three inch lift. With these 33 inch tires, it just rubs on full stuff. I do plan to run some 35 inch tires and I don't wanna redo the suspension or do spring over or change the geometry at all. So I'm just gonna lift the body up just a little bit and that should help clear bigger tires. So let's take some measurements and we'll do a before and after and I'll show you all the stuff I have to put in for this, uh, the bushings and the one inch lift. So my driver is pretty flat here, so I'm sure that these are pretty good. So that is to the end of the valence here is 25 inches there. So the other side here, and we're about 25 and a half. So we're about a half an inch out lean to the driver's side. So at the back here, and we're 26 on this side at the back. Okay, let's go check the other side. So the driver's rear here, and we're about 26 and three quarters. So we're about three quarter inch out of lean. So it looks like the whole driver's side is leaned over to one side a bit. So hopefully the new body mount bushings will fix that. So there's six body mounts on each side. So it doesn't in total, what you need to do is actually lift out some of the interior so you can get at the access holes, put a socket wrench on top of it, unscrew it from the bottom, pull the bolts out, and then we'll lift everything up. So we'll put some bottle jacks underneath the rockers here, and we should be able to lift that up about two inches and then put our new bushings in and their spacer and then slowly lower it down again and get some longer bolts, probably about one inch longer bolts and tie that all together. So we're in my shop here to show you what I got. I got the poly bushings from Four Crawler Off Road and I'll put a link in the description below of what I got. So here's a set of body bushings for a 60 series Land Cruiser, They're pretty heavy duty. They also come with all the washers as well. What I don't have is the bolts. So when I pull the bolts out, I will know what size I need to get and I'll just purchase some new bolts for it. For the body lift, I decided to make my own. I went to an industrial plastic shop, got some one inch UHMW, and you will also need a two and a half inch hole saw and you know, one and three quarter inch hole saw. So you need 10 of the bigger ones and two of the smaller ones. I just used my drill press, went slow, and it cut it no problem. So once I ended up uh, pulling the body bolts out, I'll know exactly what diameter to drill these out, so I still have that to do. In order to get at some of the body mounts, you need to pull the carpet up. It's one of the front mounts uh, behind that inspection chamber there. You get access to that. There you go. There's one of them. Okay, so we'll complete this process to find them all and remove them all. So here I am working on the first body mount bolt. And we'll look on the bottom here. And as I mentioned earlier that I anticipated having to remove these bolts and putting new bushings in. Went into the frame swap and I put anti-seize on all the bolts and that seems to be working well. So all these nuts are coming off perfectly. So I went ahead and pulled all the body mount bolts and they're all 10 by 1.25 in varying sizes. Here are the stock measurements of them all. Since I'm only doing a one inch lift, I can move three and four over to five and six and only have to buy four more bolts per side new. So I'll see if I can locate some uh, metric bolts. If not, I'll end up going with some Imperial, either grade eight or stainless steel hardware. So that should be good. So a quick trip to the bolt store and I got what I needed. So let's go back and install everything. So I got my bolts, we're all good to go here. We got the bushing kit, so we're all good to go there. We're all set up for the lift. I'm using my bottle jack accessory kit and I'll put a link right here. You can follow it to see how I make this. So basically this one's a little U-channel and this one here is just a little flat plate that's gonna fit under here. We gotta go about three inches and that should cycle the suspension a bit and give us enough room to pull out the old bushings and put it, all the new ones in and the lift spacers will be good to go. 
So I got four four ton bottle jacks and I'll just slowly go around the whole vehicle and slowly start inching it up and about three inches should do it for me. went up pretty easy no issues I have to go about four inches to get the old bushings out so here is the old bushing and here are the new ones so we'll swap these all out you can see that they're mushroomed out quite a bit and in the front the driver's side was quite mushroomed over so that was kind of why we had to lean there so we'll go ahead and we'll swap these in and we'll put it all together and lower it down pretty simple process not that hard it's what you need to do is separate the bushings the top half and the bottom half put it at the top of the frame sandwich that down on the bottom Put the washer on, put your lift block on, and then put the bolt in through the top. And that's it. Well, I finished up late last night and went together very well. Um, this is less than a day job, so anybody with some minor tools be able to do this type of body lifts. So let's go ahead and take a few measurements and I'll show you a few details. So here we are, gonna look at the rear bushing in the tire well. And you can see I have the rubber one and I have the plastic spacer on top. Make sure that you double nut it. That's very important, so I don't wanna rattle loose. What I like about the one at space lift is that I can actually reach the top of the frame so I can actually clean it and protect it as well, which I need to do here. So here we are looking at one of the front mounts and this one here, I was able to reuse one of the longer bolts from the rear. And like, once again, that is double nutted. So it looks pretty good. So where you can also see here on the front of the little skirt that protects the engine from the fender well, it's actually gone up more than an inch due to the blown out bushing and the body spacer. So that's good. I got more than an inch of clearance in the front here. So here are the old body bushings. You can see that this was one of the front ones and it was blown out pretty good. Um, this one was trashed as well. So let's remeasure the backside here now. Um, this is about tw uh, 26 and uh, 7 eighths, just under 27 inches here. And on the front side here, we're just around 27 inches, just under 27 inches on that. So that's drastically improved the whole stance of the vehicle and evens it all out. Well, I hope you found this video informative and inspires you to do something similar to your Land Cruiser. I do believe the new poly bushings and a one inch spacer lift really enhances the stance of the vehicle and allows me to get to the top of the frame, which is a good thing. As I mentioned, I'll put a link in the description below of all the parts I use. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.